If you want to have the best Disneyland Paris trip possible, you know, snagging those restaurant reservations, hotel bookings, watching those amazing Disneyland Paris shows, then you need to have a game plan. When other Disneyland Paris guests are just winging it, I'm going to tell you how to checkmate other guests and Disney to nail that perfect trip by staying three steps ahead. Understanding the official Disneyland Paris app not a new tip from me, but the amount of people I talk to who have no clue about the Disneyland Paris app or have downloaded it and then not bothered to check it out is quite high. Download it way before you even book your Disneyland Paris trip. Download it and start having a look at what you can do on there from the extremely handy map that displays the ride queue times in real time, locations for meet and greets, making your restaurant reservations, the super handy countdown, how to place your mobile orders, book your virtual queues for the meet and greet of superheroes in the Avengers campus, information and details on each ride, and the list goes on. You can do so much from the app, and it's a really useful tool when planning your Disneyland Paris trip and sorting your itinerary. Restaurant reservations. If you're staying on site at Disneyland Paris, you can make your restaurant reservations up to 12 months out from your trip. This is an absolute game changer, especially if you've been wanting to dine in a certain restaurant. You stand a very good chance of snagging that restaurant reservation. My advice is to make a list of all the places that you would like to dine in, log into the app and see what is available, and start to make a plan. We typically tend to book a few places that we really want to eat in, and then plan our days around those reservations. Then on other days, we stick to quick service restaurants and plan our days around rides, shows, parades, the fireworks, and anything else we want to get done in the parks. Also, keep your ear to the ground with regards to any new dining options that will be coming to Disneyland Paris. In 2023, the Coco themed restaurant was opened, and then hopefully in 2024, Disney Village will give us new options to be able to dine at. And of course, within the Disneyland Paris hotel itself, we'll offer a new option. And then 2025, when the Frozen Land opens, that is going to give us even more dining options. So keep on top of when you can make those reservations to make sure that you don't miss out. Book your hotels as early as you can, meaning that you may also avoid price hikes or even miss out on the days that you wanted to book. As popular dates get booked up really quick, such as weekends, UK and European school holidays, and of course, the seasonal holidays, so Christmas and Halloween. Even if you're not staying on site at Disneyland Paris, this tip also applies to hotels around Disney. Don't forget to be as flexible as you can with your dates. Moving your dates by as little as one day can save you a small fortune, meaning that's more money for merch in the parks, those amazing snacks, or even extra days added on to your holiday. Being able to upgrade your hotel, or even being able to book an extra trip at a later date. Now, speaking of hotels, sometimes you would like your hotel room to be a little bougie, but not too bougie so that it eats up a huge chunk of your trip budget. What would you say if I told you that you could upgrade your hotel without spending any extra than what you wanted to? Do you remember in my last tip about being a little flexible about your holiday dates? Well, with this in mind, planning around certain dates will mean that hotel prices are lower. And this means that you may be able to snag an upgrade to your hotel room at the price of one of the budget hotels. Do you see what I mean about a game plan? Use the dates to your advantage. Move them by one or two days could save you thousands. Consider getting a meal plan. You pay a set price for either breakfast, half board or full board. This in effect makes all restaurants the same price. But if you were to book separately, each meal will cost a lot more. For example, if you wanted to eat in the higher priced restaurants such as Manhattan in the Art of Marvel Hotel, Waltz on Main Street, Bistro Chez Remy in the Walt Disney Studios, or Captain Jack's in the main park, these will eat into your budget nicely. But if you book a meal plan, this allows you to know and budget precisely for your food and pay in advance, taking a lot of the stress away for you. And these higher priced restaurants will cost you the same as any other restaurants in the parks. And this handy tip also means that you don't have to worry about budgeting for food money whilst you're there. Stick around after the fireworks. 
even to grab that piece of merch that you had your eye on all day. This tip outsmarts Disney and other guests, but also saves you from being swept along in the mass exodus as everyone leaves the park following the fireworks. Instead of turning to leave following Disney dreams, head into one of the gift shops along Main Street as they do remain open for a while as people are leaving. You can have a mooch and see what is available, grab that piece of merch that you've had your eye on all day but didn't want to carry around the parks with you and taking a nicer and less squished stroll out of the parks as you head back to your hotel. As I said, the shops on Main Street remain open for a little while after Disney Dreams, so this is a no-brainer. Remember to keep checking back in for more 2024 news, hints, tips and tricks on Disneyland Paris. If you did find this video useful, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing and I'll see you again soon.